My name is Abdul Razik and I was born in the Dan district of Kandahar province. I grew up in Boltag in the Daman district and my position is Brigadier General. He's taking on one of the most dangerous jobs in Afghanistan. General Abdul Razik is the new chief of police for Kandahar. His predecessor Khan Mohammad Mujahid was killed in a suicide attack in April. But the risk to his life doesn't worry him. Like many Afghans, Abdul Razik was exposed to the realities of war from a young age. I was very young. My uncles were in the jihad. My father was killed in the jihad when the Russians were here. I do not remember it very well. It was a tough time. I pray those days will never come back again in Afghanistan. From then, trouble began, and that period is still going on in Afghanistan. Abdul Razik isn't sure how old he is, but thinks he's around 35. He comes from a tribe which controlled many of the smuggling routes in the south. His family were fairly prominent, but their fortune declined when the Taliban came to power in the mid-90s. The Taliban hanged his uncle from the gun of a tank. He and his family fled to Pakistan and didn't return until the fall of the Taliban in 2001. He was later made a colonel in the border police and put in charge of operations in Spin Baldak, a major port of entry between Afghanistan and Pakistan. There have been a number of reports linking Razik to drug smuggling, while human rights activists accuse him of brutality against the rival tribes and the Taliban. Razik makes no apology for taking a hard line against insurgents. There are those who are destroying our country. Whoever they are, we will not surrender to them. We have no choice but to defend ourselves and our country. They are not Taliban, they are terrorists. It is a war imposed from the outside. The enemy's main base is not in here, it's in Pakistan. At a press conference in Kandahar, Abdul Razik is seen as something of a celebrity. Young police officers and tribal elders fight to have their picture with him. They describe him as a hero, not afraid to die for his country. For NATO's part, he has been an ally, fighting the insurgency and helping to provide safe passage for supplies coming in from Pakistan. Since last summer, numerous operations have taken place in districts surrounding Kandahar city. Having been uprooted from many areas, the Taliban has resorted to carrying out attacks within the city itself. The pressure is on the new chief of police to repel the insurgency. The General Razik is up for the fight. We are Muslims and we believe that when we have faith, when our hour comes, we will die, we will not survive. The enemies are trying, but we are also trying to defend our country from any situation. Whether we die now or die after an hour or after a month, we shall defend our country. We will pay for the country with our lives. I think the future of Afghanistan will be good. Alessandro Pavone in Kandahar, Afghanistan, 48 Channel.